20 years after escaping prison while serving a life sentence for murder and then disappearing, a fugitive Italian mobster is back on the map. So literally, it's almost painful. On Google Maps, in fact. A roving Google Street View camera unknowingly recorded the mobster chatting on the street in a town in Spain, ending his decades of life on the run. The story offered a headline that captured the public's imagination this week, but there is so much more behind it. The mob reporter here with the inside story of this fugitive mobster, from his criminal past and clever prison escape, to his secret double life and the unusual steps police took to finally track him down in an unexpected capture that left the mobster flummoxed. How did you find me? I haven't even called my family for 10 years, he reportedly asked the cops after they grabbed him. Well, let me tell you about it. The irresistible headlines are largely true. 61-year-old Joaquino Gamino really was spotted chatting outside a fruit and vegetable store in Galapagar, a town of about 35,000 people on the outskirts of Madrid, Spain's capital city. And here it is. It's a quaint street scene captured by one of Google's camera cars in July 2018. We can see it clearly from all angles through the modern miracle that is Google Street View. The man we're interested in is the one in blue jeans and light brown shirt, standing at ease outside a greengrocer called El Huerto de Manu, which in English means Manu's Orchard or Manu's Garden. But we all know cops in Italy aren't scrolling through random street views on the off chance they recognize the shape of a wanted fugitive, especially one who hasn't been seen for 20 years. And we also see that the man's face is blurred, in keeping with Google's policy of anonymizing the people caught on its passing cameras. Here's what happened. Let's retrace their investigation. Gamino was on Italy's list of most dangerous wanted fugitives, and anti-mafia police recently began a fresh search for Gamino sometime in 2017. From the start, they knew he was likely in Spain. His past ties to the country are so well known, his nickname within the mob back in Sicily is Lo Spanola, in English, the Spaniard. We'll come back to that in a moment. But believing he was living somewhere in the area under an assumed name, officers started chasing down leads, including internet searches. And that's when they spotted this scene on Google Maps. They thought the man resembled Gamino, although their photos were decades old. The cops studied the grocery store, which had since closed, and saw the phone numbers on the sign and Googled that. The phone number led them to a restaurant in the same town that also used that phone number. That restaurant was just a three-minute walk from the fruit store and is also named for someone named Manu. It's called La Cocina de Manu, meaning Manu's Kitchen. Here it is back in 2018, also on Google Street View. The restaurant wasn't fancy, but was well-liked. It got mostly positive reviews for its pizzas and Sicilian specialties. People also had nice things to say about the chef. He advertised his authentic Sicilian food and wine. It all looks and sounds delicious. I admit making this video made me hungry and nostalgic for my time in Sicily, where the food is fantastic. Then there is this ad for his restaurant. Along with six plates and three desserts of Sicilian cuisine, it is a distinct reference to the Mafia, but in a pop cultural sense. You might recognize the lettering and the image of a hand holding a knife and fork with spaghetti dangling down. It's a play, of course, on the logo of The Godfather, the book and the movie based on it, the most famous Mafia movie of all. It's a bold choice for a secret mobster in hiding. The original image showed a marionette, a puppet on strings, conjuring the image of the Mafia boss controlling everyone around him. And in the movie, he pretty much did. In real life, for Gamino, maybe not so much. The place promoted its Italian chef. And now we know, there can be truth in advertising. They did have an Italian chef. The meals were prepared by a real Sicilian mobster. The Italian officers probably got a chuckle out of this ad, but more important to them was a photo they found on dining websites a rare picture of the chef himself, standing proudly in front of his wood-burning pizza oven. The officers compared the photo to a mugshot of Gamino, like this one. It's hard to see, but Gamino has a scar on the left side of his chin. As luck would have it, the chef's left side was turned towards the camera. You can see a bit of it here. 
I don't know how much they investigated his time spent in the town before they hooked up with Spain's national police to make the pinch. If they looked, they would have found that even though Gamino should have kept quiet, he just couldn't not act like a mafioso. His dark side boiled over in 2018. Neighbors complained of smoke and noise from Gamino's wood-burning oven. He ignored the complaints and municipal restrictions, so a town official shut the oven down. There's a fair chance that wouldn't have happened if he was still in Sicily, and not long after, the official was waiting in line to buy a lottery ticket when he was confronted by an angry Gamino. Here is video of what happened. Gamino yelled at the official for ruining his business, smacked him hard on the side of the head, and then threatened to kill him. Last year, the charge for the attack went to trial, without anyone discovering his real identity. It ended with a settlement for an apology and a fine. Gamino's restaurant was decorated with framed photos of Italian actors and actresses, including a woman who starred in an episode of The Sopranos and a man who directed a movie on the life and death of real-life anti-mafia prosecutor Giovanni Falcone. That one is particularly interesting because before Falcone was blown up by the mafia, he investigated Gamino in the 1980s, linking him to mafia drug trafficking. Gamino was first arrested in 1984 as part of the massive probe that led to the first anti-mafia maxi trial in Sicily, an iconic event in Italy's dramatic underworld history. After Gamino's most recent arrest on December 17, 2021, which is seen here in video released by Spanish police, the news stayed low-key until the Italian newspaper La Repubblica revealed the use of Google Maps. But before Google Maps made this mobster famous, he was the boss of La Stida around Agrigento in Sicily's southwest. La Stida, which in English means the star, began in the 1980s as a rebel faction of displaced members of Cosa Nostra, the traditional and powerful Sicilian mafia. Gamino was a nephew of one of the rebel bosses and an active participant in the feud between Cosa Nostra and the Stida gangs. Included in all that bloodshed was a shooting east of the city of Agrigento in the summer of 1989. Stida assassins targeted a member of the rival Cosa Nostra clan, but in a case of mistaken identity killed his brother instead. Those behind the botch hit was another pair of brothers, our Google fugitive and his older brother Angelo. Both fled to Spain to avoid murder charges. The younger brother's flight lasted only months before he was arrested in Barcelona, Spain, where they had family. He was returned to Italy and imprisoned for a life sentence. Angelo, meanwhile, went several years undetected until, in a remarkable turn, he was caught by happenstance on a Spanish street with uncanny similarities to the Google Map revelation. Angelo was spotted in 2001 by pure chance, police said at the time, when an Italian police officer recognized him while he was out walking during a visit to Spain. It's clear this pair have unfortunate timing for heading outdoors. He also was returned to Italy and the brothers were imprisoned together in Rome's Rabibia prison. In 2002, however, the younger Gamino escaped, with some flair, I might say. You see, a movie was being shot inside the prison. There was added confusion, a lot of action, and more outsiders. One account says there was an escape attempt meant as a distraction, prompting authorities to usher visitors out of the prison. Another version says that distraction was all part of the movie, but in either case, Gamino, likely with assistance, hid among the rabble of movie extras and visitors as they left the prison's gates. And just like that, he became a ghost for 20 years until police swarmed out from an undercover van and grabbed him off the street. He now faces extradition to Italy to resume his life sentence. Maybe this time they'll keep better tabs on him. Thanks for watching.